Mr. Speaker, overwhelming majorities of Americans, some 60 to 64 percent, according to pollsters, support legal protection for pain-capable unborn children at at least the 20th week or at about five months. Today, we know that unborn babies not only die, but suffer excruciating pain during dismemberment abortion, a cruelty that rips arms and legs off a helpless child. Even Supreme Court Justice Anthony Kennedy, the swing vote on the court in the Steinberg Carhart decision said, and I quote, the fetus in many cases dies just as a human adult or child would. It bleeds to death as it is torn limb from limb. He points out that with a D&E dismemberment abortion, the fetus can be alive at the beginning of the dismemberment process and can survive for a time while its limbs are being torn off. Mr. Speaker, even if pain wasn't present, dismembering a child is violence against children, and it is inhumane. But these babies, at this age, actually suffer. Dr. Robert White, professor of neurology at Case Western Reserve, has said an unborn child at 20 weeks is fully capable of experiencing pain. Without question, abortion is dreadfully painful experience for that child. Dr. Colleen Malloy, professor at Division of Neonatology at Northwestern, in her testimony before the House Judiciary Committee said, when we speak of infants at 20 weeks post-fertilization, we no longer have to rely on inference or ultrasound imagery because such premature patients are kicking, moving, and reacting and developing right before our eyes in the neonatal intensive care unit. Again, these children are there being assisted, and if you touch them, if you try to dismember them once they're born, they will feel the pain. In like manner, an unborn child at 20 weeks gestation will feel the pain. She points out, she points out that she would never, ever commit such, such cruelty to a child. I urge support for this legislation, H.R. 36, and yield back.